musical features to the evening with Metallica that are not your typical concert fare. First thing, instead of an opening act, Metallica will show a half-hour documentary on the history of the band. I think the night of Metallica, or whatever it's going to be called, is a, is a cool idea. And incorporating video with history of the band, especially at this point, I think we have a lot of newer fans that don't really know a lot about the early stuff. So it, it will be nice for them to kind of understand what Metallica is about. When Metallica takes the stage, it's a stage in the form of an arrowhead. There are front row seats on each edge and an audience pit right in the middle of all the action. There's a drum set on either side and the band is surrounded by microphones. James could be doing a lead vocal from this point over here. I could be doing a backing vocal from here. Kirk could be doing a solo on, because he has pedals all over the stage. Could be doing a wah thing over from this corner and there's two drum sets. Usually there's just one up on one side and then it moves and rotates. Okay, so at any given time, any given song, any city, any country, any day, it, the focal point for each song is different. For the hardcore fans who buy Metallica bootlegs, a special section of seats, the taper section, allows fans to bring tape decks and video cameras to record the show. It's a move that flies in the face of the conventional wisdom that bootlegging hurts legitimate record sales. There is one other band that does it, and look, look where they're at. <laughs> one of the biggest bands around now. That's a Grateful Dead for these people who don't know. With so many changes to their usual show structure, particularly the stage, there was a little trepidation at the final rehearsal. I, I think half the battle is, is going out there and seeing it right now. I mean, it's physically being there. I mean, we've come a long way with it. Now, now we just have to get used to playing on it. <laughs> like right now, there's so many things that we're throwing ourselves out into with this no opening act, kids in the middle, a movie before we're playing, it's like two drum kits, this really weird shaped stage, it's like we don't know what the hell is going to happen, but at least we have the balls to try it.